Hello Aries, welcome to another love reading. We're going to be looking at the person that you are thinking about or connecting with at this time. What do you need to know about them? What are they thinking or feeling about you? And what are their intentions towards you? As always, these readings are meant to be general, so they will not and cannot resonate with every Aries. Uh, and also, not every Aries reading will resonate, so take what resonates for you. What applies to your situation and leave the rest. So let's jump right into the reading for Aries. I'm very, I'm feeling very like um, nervous or antsy, <laughs> which is kind of weird because typically I just had um, like a late lunch, and typically I'm after I eat I get very like groggy and. I almost feel like I need a nap sometimes <laughs> and I feel like I don't know like I need to rest but right now I'm feeling like very like super energetic so let's see what we get for you Aries spirit angels guys what messages guidance do you have for Aries and love yeah I feel like Aries you have a lot going on or a lot on in your mind um, and whatever this is it's not easy for you to like process and move from quickly which I think typically you would just kind of just deal with it but this is something else this is something that maybe you just can't deal with it by just facing it you know head head first like normally you would just attack a problem but I feel like there's something going on here where you can't for Aries this is going to be a reading for those Aries that have a connection already or someone in mind. What's going on in the connection between Aries and the person they're thinking about or connecting with at this time? What's going on with this connection between Aries and the person they're thinking about connecting with at this time? Well, we have the Three of Wands reversed, which is very interesting because that's almost like feeling impatient. And then there's the Chariot reverse. Exactly there is cancer energy there's no movement there's someone is stuck so i feel like you feel impatient or like you need to do something but you can't and this is regarding your connection someone could be um feeling like they don't want to wait anymore they don't want to be patient anymore But I feel like they can't do anything about it. I'm not sure why, but I'm picking up this energy. Can I get one more? What's going on in this connection? The High Priestess. Interesting. Intuition, psychic knowledge, knowledge, spiritual knowledge. Something being hidden or kept behind a veil. What's going on here? I feel like something is not sitting right with you, Aries, possibly because you don't know everything or there's something you might be missing or feel like you don't have all the details about. This isn't you, this could be your person. What's this going on here with um, the High Priestess? What's this about? Why is the High Priestess here? Three of Pentacles. Hmm, I hope you're not being suspicious of another person. You could be distracting yourself with work. What's this about? Tell me about the High Priestess. Something is going on here. There could be three people involved. The chariot is upright. Okay. Yeah, and then there's the four of pentacles. So like opposite energies. The chariot is moving. The four of pentacles is not. The four of pentacles has their arms crossed or like guarding this pentacle. And they're very stationary, very solid. The chariot is kind of the opposite. The chariot's just moving forward. So I feel there's a back and forth happening here. 
And it's possibly because of this high priestess. There's a secret or a mystery element. I feel like I'm missing something. Can I get one more for the High Priestess? Why is the High Priestess here? Four of Wands. This could be regarding home life, something going on at home. Hmm. Why is the Chariot Reverse down here then? What's going on here with the Chariot Reverse? The Magician, yeah. Somebody does not like that they're in this position. The magician is someone that is a doer. They like to take action. They like to manifest and use every tool at their disposal to make things happen. They would hate to be a chariot reverse or around this energy. You could be trying to figure out a way around this stuck energy. Can I get one more please for the chariot reverse? What's this chariot reverse about? So maybe you could be dealing with a cancer. There's that three of wands. Yeah, this is all connected. Three of wands. Ten of Wands, and there's the Moon at the bottom of the deck, Pisces Energy. This is all connected. Something's weighing you or someone else down, and it's because there's something that's not being expressed, or there's something hidden, uh, something mysterious here. It's causing a burden. I feel like someone's being forced to wait and be patient when they don't want to. They don't want to be patient. They don't want to wait. Um, I feel like the fact that you're waiting for something or having to be patient is just not sitting right with you, Aries. Tell me about this Three of Wands reverse. I feel like you want to move forward, but you can't. You want to maybe move towards something, have something happen. Tell me about the Three of Wands reverse. And I know it's not in your nature to be patient. Um, I know I'm an Aries moon. Um, so I feel like this could be difficult for you because you want what you want and you want it yesterday. And you're also like a, a, a definitely um, active participant in the way that your life unfolds. So three of wands reverse with the ace of wands. Exactly. You want to have a new beginning. You want things to start. But I feel like you're running out of patience. Or you no longer want to wait for something. Six of Pentacles. I think you've tried to see the... Trying to maybe regain balance, right? Stay level-headed. Stay grounded. Not let something get away from you or not jump into something unnecessarily. But I think this is hard because this is exactly what you want to do. Knight of Wands. It's like you're trying to be understanding about something, but I don't know what. Maybe you're waiting for someone for a specific reason. Maybe you know why things are not moving forward, and but, but knowing doesn't make it easier. I don't know what's going on here, but this is really fascinating. I feel like it involves another person. What's this Three of Pentacles? Or a job? What's this Three of Pentacles about? What can you tell me about this Three of Pentacles? I feel like you don't know everything, but that is not something that you like or, or want to accept. Tell me about the Three of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles. King of Pentacles. Mm, you could be shut out or feeling shut out because you don't know something. Okay, maybe you're expecting some sort of communication from another earth sign or from an earth sign or an older mature person. Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy with the King of Pentacles here. Doesn't have to be an earth sign, but... I feel like you're waiting for something. This Page of Cups will make you very happy, Aries, but you feel... Maybe like you're, this isn't close or this isn't happening quickly enough or maybe you're doubting that it's going to happen at all. There could be another person involved that's keeping you from getting what you want. Okay, let's jump into your energies between each other. Maybe we can get a little more insight here. All right, Aries. Spirit, tell me the energies between Aries and this person that they are dealing with or 
thinking about at this time? What can you tell me about Aries? What can you tell me about Aries? And this other person that they're dealing with. What are the energies between them? Tell me about Aries. Aries, I'm going to have you on one side and your person on the other. Feel free to flip the energies if they resonate more. Past life. You've had a connection with this person in the past and far apart. Yes. I don't think you are with this person. I think there's a distance between you. Yep, cold shoulder at the bottom of the deck. There could be an emotional distance. It doesn't necessarily have to be a physical distance. But um, there could have been a lot of time that has happened or occurred between when you spoke to this person and now. That was a weird way to say that. I hope that made sense. <laughs> I'm just kind of like spitballing here because I'm getting a lot of messages. I feel like there's a coldness to this connection due to the distance. And also, I feel there's an uncertainty, a doubt that's coming in because you don't have that closeness. You don't have that immediate access, right? Sometimes when you have a question, you can just turn around and, you know, tap them on, so on their shoulder and be like, hey, I have a question for you. And then you get that immediate response. You can't do that here. I think this is creating difficulties between you and this person. Tell me about the person that Aries is thinking about or connecting with at this time. What do we need to know about their energies? The person that Aries is dealing with or connecting with what do we need to know about them sudden realization so they're realizing something getting clarity an epiphany dealing with the truth this is um happening quickly for them or just recently happening for them oh it's about love budding romance it's about love restoring balance is at the bottom of the deck fascinating so something is unbalanced here for this person to want to restore the harmony, the balance, the stability of something. So I feel like in a way you're mirroring each other. But do you know that? Because there's such a distance between you. What do we need to know, Spirit, about what they're thinking, feeling? Okay, let's pick a secret moon. This is my other deck. Tell me what Aries is thinking or feeling regarding this person this connection what is aries thinking or feeling i'm working on myself so you're focused on something maybe you're trying to be patient maybe you're trying you've been learning certain things and it's helped you grow maybe you've been focusing on yourself this could be um, improving yourself in some way. Tell me about the person Aries is dealing with. What are their thoughts, feelings? What are their thoughts, feelings? It's all my fault. What's this? Expect a message. So this person blames themselves and wants to talk. I have changed at the bottom of the deck. Okay. So something happened and your person feels like they are to blame. They're realizing their feelings for you, I'm guessing here, with budding romance. Or they're realizing something about the connection you had. This could be a past life connection. Does not necessarily have to be an ex, but we do have past life here. So someone from the past. You've known this person before. If you've had some sort of a connection to this person before. Tell me about Aries and this person. Aries, what can you tell me about Aries? Pathway. Ooh. Um, you could be led to this person or feeling like you're on a path to this person. Um, there might have been times where you've taken different turns in love, but it's led you here. That's kind of what I'm getting. This could be a masculine energy. That's at the end of this road. Tell me about the person Aries is dealing with or thinking about. Tell me about this person Aries is dealing with or thinking about. What do we need to know? What do we need to know about their energies? Journey. Ah. Again, I feel like they're you're mirroring each other. You're both on a quest or trying to find a path here. Sudden wealth at the bottom of the deck. So they might have had some sort of like 
lucky um, break. Um, if you see here, there's like a casino with 777, a lucky break, a, some sort of fortune that has hit them or they were experiencing. I, for some reason, I feel like this is going to help them move towards you. And I don't know why that would be, but that's what I'm picking up. Okay, so let's see what else we can get here. Let's see if I can fit these in one. So I feel like this person wants to talk to you. Because I have expect a message. The Page of Cups is here. So I'm guessing this is something that perhaps you would want to get from this person or hear, you would want to hear from this person. Okay, we get some insight into how Aries is thinking or feeling about this person and vice versa. Okay. Tell me about Aries. What do we need to know? What do we need to know about Aries? Seven of Cups reverse. Okay. Either you've chosen one option out of many or you feel you chose wrong. Knight of Swords reverse. Yikes. Nine of Wands. Three of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so whatever history you have from this person, I feel like when you think about this connection, there's a lot of pain here. Disappointment. Um, I think if this ended in the past, it wasn't the best ending. Um, perhaps, I don't know, there could have been words exchanged that weren't the nicest or you didn't say what you meant to say. Now with the Nine of Wands, I'm getting almost like you put up a wall between you and this person. Let's see, tell me about the Seven of Cups reverse. Why is the Seven of Cups reverse? Four of Wands again. Why is the Seven of Cups reverse? There's something here with a light. Stability, home life, happiness, justice, Libra energy, king of cups, eight of swords. Yeah. So there's 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 a conflict here for you, and I think it's this inner conflict. Maybe you learn something about yourself because of this connection, or perhaps. Balance is very important to you because something was very unbalanced in this connection. Um, I feel like there's still love here with the King of Cups. You have interest in this person emotionally, feelings for this person. But I think you also want to be fair to yourself because I feel like somewhere down the line in the past, when it comes to love or it could be specifically this connection with this person, you might have made mistakes or you you weren't you could have been overthinking the situation, had a lot of fears, or just felt like maybe you gave more than you got back. Tell me about this Knight of Swords reverse. What's this about? Page of Pentacles. Tell me about the Knight of Swords reverse. What's this about? The Lovers. Wow. Yeah. Hmm. There's something here with like no communication or something where maybe you said one thing but meant another. Because I see here someone that wants to have a partner, wants to make an offer to a partner, um, Gemini energy with the lovers, but it's with the Knight of Swords reverse. And there's the Five of Swords here. So maybe you felt this way, Page of Pentacles and the Lovers, or this person felt that way towards you, but it never was, it wasn't communicated. Um, maybe because somebody was scared of 
the outcome of something, scared of rejection, or just didn't want to lose or look like a loser, <laughs> something like that. Tell me about the Nine of Wands. What's this about? What's this about with the Nine of Wands? Now, the Nine of Wands is typically someone who has been through a lot, but has, is not ready quite yet to give up. They're still there. They're still holding on. They're very defensive and guarded because of what they've been through, but they're not giving up com completely. Sometimes the Nine of Wands, for me as a reader, could be um, a front. Someone putting up a front that they're not hurt as much as badly as they look um, but we'll see let me not get into like psychology stuff here let's see what this is about tell me about the nine of wands why is the nine of wands here why is the nine of wands here six of cups wow so this is tied to the past okay tell me about the nine of wands so what's this nine of wands about for aries Wow, judgment. Judgment with the past, with the Six of Cups. Wow. Lessons learned from the past. An awakening regarding the past. Judgment calls made. For this, I feel, is someone that's realizing something about the past or has learned a lot from their past. Can I get one more for the Nine of Wands? Why is the Nine of Wands here? Ace of Swords, there's, yeah, you have clarity about something and possibly it's actual information coming in for you. Eight of Wands, the Ace of Swords, this could be this person communicating with you. So I'm starting to think that perhaps despite what's happened between you and this person, you could be, you know, secretly waiting for them deep down, secretly waiting for something to get fixed here. It's like you want this lovers and six of cups and king of cups, despite the fact that you are far apart from this person. Tell me about the ace of swords. What do we need to know? Knight of swords. Yeah, this is a message coming in. Expect someone to talk to you. And I think it's this person. They have expect a message. So there's a message coming in that I feel is going to give you a lot of clarity or it'll be a very honest, open message. Three of Cups. It could be somebody wanting to meet up, wanting to get together. Let's grab a drink. Let's grab this or that. Let's meet up. Tell me about this person Aries is or will be dealing with. What are their energies, this person that Aries is or will be dealing with? What are their energies in this connection? Energies towards Aries. What do we need to know about this person? Well, they're having a sudden realization, but so are you in a way. Ten of Pentacles. Okay. Ten of Pentacles. Lofty goals. Four of swords. Okay. Healing, rest, relaxation, reflection. King of cups. Wow. King of cups showing up. Again, feelings, emotions. Water energy here. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Bottom of the deck, temperance. Definitely healing energy. Harmony, balance. Remember... We were talking about restoring balance, Sagittarius energy. I feel like your person, I think they want to heal this connection, but I'm trying to figure out how that can be really possible because I feel there's a serious divide between you. There could even be a physical distance. They have journey, you have far apart. So you might live far away from each other or there's just a distance here, emotional distance. Tell me about this Ten of Pentacles. Now, Ten of Pentacles is typically a card about like long-term success, long-term stability, commitments, family, generations, the Hangman. Tell me about this Ten of Pentacles. Interesting, with the Hangman and the Four of Swords, I'm not getting much movement here. 
thinking a lot. Tell me about the Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Wands. Mm, another ten. Can I get one more for the uh, Ten of Pentacles? What can you tell me about this Ten of Pentacles? Well, okay, all those fell out, so I'm just going to take them. Two of Pentacles, Two of Swords, Knight of Pentacles. So this person is conflicted as well. You're both marrying each other. I don't think you're aware of it, but you are. This person is conflicted. They're thinking a lot. They're overwhelmed by their thoughts. This is somebody that um, they've, they're thinking, 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 but can't pull the trigger. Two of Pentacles, Two of Swords. But they're thinking about something very solid, very um steady with the knight of pentacles this is this somebody that this isn't just any offer that comes in this isn't just any opportunity for something for someone this is something that takes time to build that takes time to um, arrive at their destination but when it does arrive it's solid it's dependable it grows and manifests because there's a lot of work and effort behind it what's at the bottom of the deck here Wow, Ace of Pentacles, yeah. So I feel like this is somebody that has an idea of what they would like to do and is thinking way too much about it. You could be dealing with a Virgo. I just thought about that. I don't see um, any Virgo energy specifically here, but there's Page of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, and a lot of thinking, which immediately makes me think of a Virgo. We have Four of Swords, which... For me as a reader, it's someone that, yes, they're resting and healing, but they're doing a lot of reflecting as well. They are doing a lot of thinking. Tell me about the Four of Swords. What's this Four of Swords about? Yeah, this is about balancing something out. So your person, I feel like they have a goal in mind to fix things with you, Aries. Nine of Pentacles. Independence. And that's a, the Nine of Pentacles for me is such Virgo energy too. Okay, and then the High Priestess. So I don't think you know this. I don't think you know this. There's the Queen of Wands, bottom of the deck. I feel like this might be you. I think this person is secretly pining for you. I think that's what, and, and I feel like spiritually, you can sense that something's up. You don't know how to explain it. But you can sense it. Hold on, I'm going to write this down because I feel like that might be the title of this reading. We'll see. Um, I think you are possibly, you know, there's some planetary shifts happening right now. For, I mean, for everyone. And that could be playing a role here. But I think that there's something that maybe your intuition is guiding you about here. Or something like that. It's like you can feel that there's like a disturbance in the force, you know, part of my nerdiness here. But you can feel that something's shifting or changing. You just don't know what it is. And I feel like in the back of your mind is this person. Okay, let's move on to this King of Cups. What can you tell me about the King of Cups? What can you tell me about this King of Cups? This is somebody very loving, sweet. Four of Pentacles. Okay, so I feel like this person's holding back their feelings for you. I don't know why that is, but they are. Yeah, page of page of cups, exactly. They they should be um, this page of cups should be happening, but it's not. 